Kobolator is a family-run network company in Austria. The company was founded in 1927 by my great-grandmother. So I'm literally the fourth generation right now. My parents and myself are basically running the company. We started uh, knitting in 1927. Back then it was only garments or fashion, basically. Also on hand knitting machines. The technology greatly evolved uh, over time and nowadays uh, state-of-the-art machines are way different to what we used back then. <laughs> When we first saw the sketches from the designer and made by hand, uh, we didn't know how to knit that. It was, we were really literally clueless how that was able to, to being uh, produced on a flat knitting machine. So we really had to brainstorm in a team uh, on how to do this. What kind of yarns uh, can we use? We need to create a certain transparency to let the lights through. There were all sorts of questions and issues we had to sort out in the beginning. And eventually uh, we figured out the right pattern, the right machine, the right yarns. Uh, but then we still had this huge or paramount challenge of how to get this round shape of these lamp. And uh, yeah, that was probably the biggest challenge of the, of the whole project. To program a knitting machine is, uh, yeah, is a rather difficult endeavor. It's very challenging and complex. You really have to have a deep knowledge, understanding of the machine, of the technology, of the yarns and materials, the parameters of the machine, knitting speed, stitch density, and all these play together uh, creating a knit. The knitwood lamp is very sustainable because it literally falls out of the machine and it's ready to assemble. So there's no cutting or sewing, or no waste you uh, throw away. Therefore, it's uh, very sustainable. We recently built a hydropower plant in a local river here, therefore generating our own power. We also just uh, recently launched a solar panel on our roofs, which uh, makes a CO2-free production possible, which is really important for us. Uh, additionally to that, we also source our raw materials locally, that meaning that we don't have to ship them around the world. Every color for its, for its standing alone looks different than it, what it looks uh, combined with a second color or a third and that's what makes it so challenging actually. You're selecting two colors and you're almost certain this will turn out nicely, but then uh, yeah, you get the complete opposite. And so usually we really spend a long time in color development, trying several uh, colors out on the machine, and then uh, basically also assemble it and check with the light how it turns out. And only then you can be sure, okay, that's the right color or not.